here in yeah, Colorado yeah. in Greeley and I was lucky enough to meet up with my old time friend Joe and uh, he's gonna give us a little tour of his greenhouse here. Okay, let's go in. <laughs> Welcome. It's uh, kind of tight quarters in here and some of the stuff is in pretty good shape and some of it's kind of hurting right now. Mm -hmm. We had a couple of things happen. One was uh, had our dry period when uh, they didn't get watered I was out of town and some of them kind of suffered from that and we had a little chemical burn some phytotoxic reaction some of the plants too but most of it's on the mend so let's take a look around and uh, mm -hmm. there's just kind of odds and ends in here you probably know more about the various species in here than I do this <laughs> is a uh, sumo yeah. uh, it's a new G whiz plant good sized fruit uh, pretty well sought out my real passion is and has been variegated citruses so you'll see a few of those in here and yeah, Joe's got a really really nice selection of and collection of uh, variegated citrus so it's miracle fruit in here behind here's a little tray of uh, several trays of root stalks lots of production going on here <laughs> uh, dragon fruit I think uh, we just missed the boat on this one here's a, a dragon fruit that just oh, okay dropped uh, let's see what else we've got of interest in here this is my old uh, yusu girl she's been around forever but you can see she's still heavy with fruit oh, I need to yeah. prune some of that off there's a lot of fruit that's there. a half decent uh, rootstock actually I've used that quite a little bit and with pretty good success <coughs> got some pigs here got pigs here this is a sepadelia. Oh, uh, this is Cyrus Woods. Yes. And they've got fruit forming there. Actually, the last time I came, I noticed you had a lot of fruit on here, and I, I was inspired to buy one, so I have uh, one of these two now. Yeah, Silas these, these, these will get probably twice that large. They have a kind of a, a cinnamon, sweet yeah. cinnamon-like mm -hmm. flavor. Uh, you probably split them and eat them with a scoop them out with a spoon. Yes. Um, several variegated. Oranges and lemons here. This is variegated Buddha's hand. This was the one that uh, had kind of a bump in the road here a while back, but we got some new leaves coming on, so it's going to be all right. That's probably one of the biggest ones I've seen. <laughs> Var uh, variegated Buddha's hand. Like everybody, I fight spider mites in here on a regular basis, and you know, once the damage occurs, it's there until you get new leaves. So uh, it's not fatal, but it didn't isn't pretty and you certainly try to avoid it if you can yeah uh, more figs this is a uh, a black sapote right? yes yeah. a black uh, sapote and I think it's rooted into the actually rooted into the floor into the subsoil variegated navel Get sweet orange here. You've got uh, this is variegated uh, microphilia. It's a real pretty one. This is one of my favorite rootstocks, microphilia, as a matter of fact. Down here we have variegated uh, caracara. Uh, Sydney hybrid. Yeah, that's a pretty rare one right there, the Sydney hybrid. Uh, it produces every year. Tiny little leaves, lots of thorns. And we got uh, this is Tahoe Gold, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, uh, gosh, I was trying to remember. This is, uh, oh, that's a China lemon there. I used to get seeds from a lady in the South Pacific. China lemon came in from her. The Langa lemon came in from her. Uh -huh. um, so there's probably stuff in here that most people have never heard of. Yes. <coughs> All right. I guess we can duck down and go under here. Uh, let me see here. Desert lime. Yeah.
-hmm. This is uh, just a very good lemon, Eureka lemon, I believe. Mm -hmm. well, let me see, some of the stuff I have to actually check because I can't remember what's what. <clears throat> let me see what we got here. Oh, this is a very good blood orange. Satsuma. I like the yellow on that. Yeah, the new growth really, really looks nice. Uh, this is a microphilia here. I'll use that for rootstock. I take cuttings from those over those cuttings over here in my mist table. I really, as I mentioned earlier, I really, really like that rootstock yes. because it stays pretty active even in, in wintertime. Mm -hmm. uh, we got some grafts here, some of them took, some of them didn't. Here's a tiny little uh, caracara. And you see the yeah. new growth coming there. Uh, what else? This is very good in Mineola. Oh yeah, got that one. And let me see, I think that's just about it. Yeah. Anything that's a real, <coughs> real interest here. You see anything else that, uh, well, this is Bazari. Oh, wow. Yeah, Bazari. And uh, there is a fruit. There's at least one fruit for that right over here. Okay. Very cool. So that's pretty much it. Yeah. Well, it's a lot to, to keep up with, especially in Colorado where it's it's so cold in here. It yeah. is. You know, we have some uh, some really severe weather here in the winter time. We get down to 25, 30 below from time to time. Yeah. Let me grab this door. This okay. Here. 25 to 30 below. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all heated with propane heater right there in the back. Mm -hmm. It's cooled with the swamp cooler. You can see the swamp cooler in the distance here. Yeah. Uh, everything's thermostatically controlled, cooling and heating, yeah. and uh, everything that I could automate in here I did to try to uh, eliminate as much manual you know, manipulation as I have to do. Yeah. It works out fairly well. Once in a while there's a bump in the road. If we yeah. lose power here I'm in trouble because oh, wow. everything is powered by, you know, the fans are powered by 110, so if mm -hmm. we lose power I have to be aware and awake and get out here and actually activate some of these uh, these heaters like this. Yes. I've got some kerosene heaters now just for backups. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case. Okay. Well, thanks for the tour. You're very really, welcome. Really appreciate it. There may be, I don't know, he knows strangers, so don't trip on that oh. wire. That's a hot wire, so yeah. step over it. That's okay. Hi there. Come on, it's okay. It's okay. Nobody's gonna bother you. There you go. And what is that called? It's a yellow golden. Yellow golden pheasant? Pheasant, yeah. And when he's courting the girls, he can... Uh, Manipulate that cape, mm -hmm. that orange black area. He can fan it almost like a fan dancer. Oh, wow. It's really impressive when he's putting on a show for the girls. Come on, dude. It's okay. They know strangers. <laughs> Look at these guys. They really do. <laughs> That's a big chicken right there. Oh, we're going to pay cage and see those girls. There. Wow. And there's his cousin, the black one over there. Mm -hmm. oh, that look cool. That's the daddy there. Come here, Roscoe. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Come on, hop up there. Come on, hop up there. Come on. Oh my goodness. 
Got a large pawpaw here, Colorado.